But yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back for another really quick. Quick, 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 quick. Of course, uh, uh boggers. Uh, Pokemon Go, um, do Pokemon Go. Pokemon Dreams with you, of course. Again, very, very typical stuff for Dreams. Again, typical review stuff. We still go into the tournament art piece. Okay, so that was weird. Um, but yeah, we got this coming up, of course. I'm gonna review it, go through really fast, because I don't have other stuff to do today, so. This only the second video I had to do today. Hopefully, I don't think so, or whatever, but hopefully, yeah. But yeah, though, of course, how I feel like the entire, because I've been up since like 4 or 5 this morning, technically. 5, 4 or 5. Some days it's like, man, I just want to go back to sleep. I might take a nap later. I definitely might, just because I have definitely been feeling about tired lately, though. But of course, a uh, new episode review, new stuff, you already know how it goes and everything, of course, though. But yeah, uh, next one's Iris vs. Cynthia. Long ago, it won for a long time. Next one's Ash vs. Steven, of course, but I know Ash is probably going to win that anyway, just because at this point, pretty much kind of like already right, knows going to come up though. But yeah. Probably gonna make this review probably pretty short though, like I said, probably not because it's been too, too long on it though, just because I can skip over a lot of this stuff. The video cuts out and messes up, it's, I don't know, like, sometimes Jerry has that, sometimes it does that, but, um, otherwise though, everything should be good, everything should be alright, and I think of course though, so, yeah, so we're gonna review and get started though, of course. Again, okay, it's weird, because I feel like I just reviewed that, um, dang thing, so I feel like I just, which I did, I feel like I just did, and I did, but, I don't think I reviewed it on a Friday, I think I reviewed it like on a Saturday or something. I don't think because I didn't have enough time on Friday, it was, Craziness. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was, like, I was just like, I feel like I just did this review, but, um, yeah, I'll probably do this as soon as I can now, but yeah, of course, the yeah, episode starts off with just Iris, they are talking about the Pokemon, go over stuff, they were having discussions, uh, very, very typical stuff, again, this is just simple review stuff, but, yeah, I can skip over it, because I got Team Rocket, of course, doing their thing, of course, cheering on, uh, we got my pick on the background, everybody getting the predictions, everything, of course, there are many people, pretty much, can anybody can stay, pretty much, at this point, they can just stay, be in the background, just, you know, talk about it, come and stuff, yeah. This is gonna be a really good match though. So yeah, of course you see both Pokemon starting out. Pokemon starting up Cynthia shuts out with rain dance. Ah, oh, I have bit my tongue. Except for that, of course, because again, the guards up, I think moves can be kind of affected during rain. I know Thunder hits though, but maybe they'll kind of like slow it down because again it's a you know guard up and stuff like that, of course. Of course, you see a little game of basically um how the hours of training pretty much has gone on off the Universe Squad. We've got some Sinnoh Squad people down here as well. Um, right there. So yeah. Like basically, like, yeah, both their hopes and dreams going off Sano and Unibar pretty much. So, of course, um, X Girl Drill starts out getting muddy and stuff like that. Of course, the ball in the background just chilling right here, which is just utterly funny. I love this so much. Am I video myself? I'm not sure. Okay, I like to kind of pause into like that. Of course, you see Flint, you see like, um, I've never seen already right, Flint Bolt folder, but yeah. And of course, the Amy, you see Cynthia get wet up a little bit. Maybe <laughs> catch my dress. Yeah. Yeah, because I think Rainbow is stronger again. Ground type being muddy and stuff like that, of course. X Girl, of course, getting slammed a little bit while I think it's. What, SMR Go, I think that was what it's called? I can't remember. Because everybody just gave me all the strategy plans and stuff like that. Of course, what they're going to do, pretty much. See, um, Cynthia just full on going, um, of course, as well. See, Iris kind of getting worried. Again, Iris kind of gets worried up a lot in this episode, though, of course. Yeah. Then, of course, she um, kind of gets slumped down with the rain dance and everything, of course. Then, it starts to clear up. Iris gives it a little bit more of a clear head. Go, and, uh, of course, actually, everybody's getting off and hop, of course. Off. That's it, actually, hop. Everybody's going to have to repeat the stuff like that, of course. Uh, we see Team Rocket getting up there, of course. Um, then, of course, they actually called out Pokemon, just because it's getting everything just born off. He might let it come in again. Rain Dance probably setting it up pretty much, though, and stuff like that. I just have to go full on power in again. We don't know if every Milo Tick in the series has gone through this. We've seen his training arc, we've seen how it is, and stuff like that, of course. Exert Drill is utterly obliterated, though, and stuff like that, of course. Then, um, I don't know why I just spoke on this pretty much out and everything. Next one, we're Joe Pinyadis right there. Uh, we see Dragonite come in pretty much again. It's good to see him, though, and stuff like that, of course. Again, resynced up and everything. So, though, with Thunder Punch going strong, Milo Tick doesn't seem that affected, but you already know it got affected. Um, then, of course, um, getting in dinged and Milo Tick goes for the attack and just a Dragon Dragonite, and of course, it wraps around it, and tries to, um, you know, you know smack it around a little bit, though, of course, Dragonite fades it off and everything, of course. Um, the Dragonite just, you know, Garrett just calls it back, so it makes sure, you know, it doesn't, you know, get destroyed, pretty much, though. Then, of course, he called out for a full Haxorus. You already know this is gonna be Haxorus again. Terror Ace, Baby Axe, he was going to a fully grown dragon. So, of course, Iris just goes full power in though, of course, we'll the um, basically tries to go in full power as well. Again, more of a full power, they kind of just equalize each other pretty much though, which I kind of like though. Again, they pretty much just equalize each other pretty much at this point though, so, um, yeah. And it's pretty much equalizing each other at this point. One shot for one shot pretty much. Of course, Iris goes into the form of Dragon Tail, Milotic dodges with his speed, and, and again, I think Milotic's still for Cynthia. I know, in, I know it's in the game, I definitely know it's in the game. Or when they beat Fulpa. I definitely know it's in the game. I know she has a, a Lucario as well. Again, we are since Cynthia's full traits, we've seen Iris full cards, traits, things. Yeah, then of course, um, Milotic just gets obliterated as well, so yeah, one shot Milotic, so yeah. But if it was up in the air, just destroys it though, of course. And of course, um, Cynthia calls in her ace, her... Pretty much our last Pokemon at this point, Garchomp, and 
You had to have this as one shot guard chomp from the game, I think. Of course, full on dragon battle for both these. Um, go to right here. So, yeah, that's pretty cool and stuff like that, of course. Then, um, of course, um, you try to go in for it. So, there's like full on guard chomp to go in for a Dragon Meteor Iris start to power up it with, um, I think with a Dragon Dance. Or, um, dra yeah, Dragon Dance. Then, of course, um, you know, it uses Outrage, Outrage. And, of course, you try to block off the Dragon Meteor with using just pure raw power. But, yeah, it's a really cool animation for this whole arc and stuff like that, of course. Then, Garchomp kind of gets blown back a little bit. Of course, it gets confused for actually just freaking confused for Outrage because that makes it confused and stuff like that, of course. Then, say, yeah, kind of tried to, like, you know, try to kind of, like, um, you know, that is like sh shock to surprise, of course, um, go as Hyper Game of all for their beams and everything. You know, Cynthia basically being impressed with Iris and her arm, of course. Um, Garchomp is still that, of course. Then there's a little surprise right here, which kind of really was a surprise. Cynthia was wearing makeup. Oh my gosh, because again, everybody's in the jail is gone crazy. Or this, like, image right here, like, oh, Cynthia actually wears. Let's take a step on that, you know. Uh, you know, I definitely got to put the thumbnail. I'm going to do something for this. You definitely know. I got to go pause. Uh, is that here? Oh, that is. Oh, okay. Okay, might have to pause real quick right here. Okay, maybe. I may have to pause. Edit out of phase. Edit back in phase. So yeah, um of course, um oh my goodness. Yeah, edit back in phase. <laughs> but yeah. Um, that was the part right here, Cynthia's using makeup, of course. Again, teaser image shows off and everything. Pretty much, she was getting makeup off for a guard chomp, and really good image of Cynthia. You can see her silver eyes, and... Ooh! 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 Oh, I think she's nice, of course. But yeah, hey, uh, on the way, don't know why they're shocked, because we already knew she was going to make up off her guard chop anyway. It was already teased, it was already hinted at. It was so obvious, because her, her, her strong off her makeup for the first time like this. Really? Like, we, we knew this was going to happen. Like, we knew this was going to happen, though. But yeah, Cynthia looking nice, looking clean, looking thick, of course, as always. Um, beautiful animation piece. Again, I can gush about this all day, pretty much. But yeah, question book of all on Pokemon. As surprising here, of course. Again, like I said, they're going all out, of course, for one more big clash, of course. And everybody's shocked, surprised. Woohoo, nothing crazy. But yeah, again, they're just going full on. How animation's going good, everything's going good. They're both going all out, no bars, everything. Like, they're not holding anything back. Like, one final clash of the Titans, one final Dragon Buster Slash, one more everything. And of course, it's one Irish Connects for, um, you know, Hexorus, of course. Um, uh, it just them basically becoming one. Of course, Cynthia is getting to her guard trip as well. Yeah, they both want to win so bad. They will both want to go all out. They use a Dragon Meteor and, of course, Dragon Pulse combination. Again, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Meteor thing. And it's got the thing. Even Dad tried to do that too. Like, the Dragon Meteor spam that gets high when I was in that episode. When Iris and Ash for his battle. That's, that's a kind of a dragon thing. That's kind of they, of course, both of them basically, um, you know, either one clash pretty much. Again, either one pretty much clash, Hexorus is out. Of course, that means Iris is out. Sadly, yeah. Again, Mega Garchomp really wasn't like that surprising. Just because again, they already teased it all over there. Then, of course, um, Iris is basically going to get Dr. Hector's and everything. Of course, even Cynthia, like, saying how far she came and stuff like that. Because Iris really has come far in this series. Like, she's been really, really good. Again, really improving over Black and White, even though it's not really that surprising. But, really, really good stuff over there. Then, of course, Ash, like, he literally just, like, let him Pikachu really get up and just go comfort Iris pretty much. Even Go gets up too, though. Hop kind of just stays behind though. But again, it makes sense. I feel like they all should kind of all, all, went all went together though. But yeah, even Team Rocket's they all blasted out by that too. Again, they're always here for leak stuff like this anyway. Again, we know that this jump will come on. We already know about this and stuff about like sports though. But yeah, that's like, again, he knows how it feels though. So he literally just goes up in comfort zone. Like, he literally just gets up. No hesitation. He goes comfort to his mind. And that's really respectful. I love that. Like, he literally just stands up. I bitch about things all day. He literally stands up, gets up, and goes to support his friend, and that's really, really nice and sweet. Of course, she moves on to the next round, of course. Um, then, of course, we see Ash and Steven just with the next round coming up, though. Of course, the winner will, of course, fight Cynthia. Ash and Cynthia will get a good one. The end of versus Leon. But yeah, we don't even know where the is going to be at this point, though. I can't even confirm it yet. Uh, but then, of course, you know, Irish um, cries out, basically, like, you know, she did her best and everything. Even Ash, like, even Ash, we can chill. Again, just to cover her, this scene is just so beautiful, and I love it, like, it's really just how they put grown as characters overall, and it's, it's so good. Like, he literally gets, uh, like, no hesitation. He gets up, goes comforts his friend. It's just, he's just so sad. He up about it. Even Goat goes up there, too, as well. Like, yeah, of course. But again, she's gonna keep trying hard, going hard, and everything. But again, I'm gonna go back, because this was... Iris is just so good in this arc, and it's just... Yeah, just so sad, man. Just so sad. Again, hopefully, though, like, I really want to see like, the action Iris battle after, like, the fact, like, after all this, because I know that I really want a rematch between them. Yeah, but who cares, like, whoever wins? I didn't want to see them, like, you know, even, like, just go all out, like, with each other, pretty much. 
And of course, I'm actually getting ready for a deck round with Steven. Of course, the episode ends off there pretty much, though. But yeah, again, a really good episode. Like, probably better than the Dance and Lance one. That one was kind of just good. Not mid, but it was kind of okay. Um, just nothing like really crazy there. But overall, like, this was a really good episode. Again, this is, again, I reviewed it pretty much right back to that one because my other stuff done today. But, other stuff. Okay, that was weird. Okay, <laughs> hopefully you guys heard that too. I was like, what the heck? But yeah. The third episode overall, I loved it. I think it was awesome. Great, beautiful animation. No surprise about Mega Guard Champ. That was so obvious. And I think they've shown like, a little bit of the Mega Evolution like the previous two as well. well they, I don't think they did at all, but again, it's been like, well, like a month now probably since that happened. Or a couple of weeks now, but yeah, it was kind of obvious the surprise that that was going to happen. Not really shocked there how it was going to happen though, but yeah, really good episode. I love, again, like I said, I love how Ash went to go cover Iris. That was a really good, like, just bond of friends, like how they, um, Pretty much went over again. Uh, I'll go ahead the cameo from Kinto Jojo. Not gonna be shocked if Poland gets a um, let me close this really quick. Not gonna be shocked if like Max and May get a cameo as well, like all the like even like all the other home kids as well get a cameo next episode because again, with this episode we got it, last episode we got it for um, all the Kalos and Kinto, Kinto kids um, reference from the game stuff. Like that. Of course, we got Reggie in the last episode, we got um, our, was it Richie, I think? No, the not Clone Ash game. I want to see him in Ash Battles again. But yeah, again, another a really just again, good all overall episode. Really good animation, like I said, as it like always. Really good stuff. That's just in general, really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. This is about waiting for a long time again. The road that really, really, really just happens here is really, really well because I was just did the FDF fight before. Um, doesn't they're pretty much, I will say more weaker back then. I don't want to say more weaker, but kind of like, you know. Compared to their strengths, you know, back then to now, pretty much, and like to symbolize all the years they pretty much, you know, we've seen them like for this many uh, years growing, getting stronger. And of course, the end result is like right here, it's beautiful, it's perfect, I love it, it's awesome, it's just good, beautiful overall look of the so, yeah. So, I'm gonna do, be done repeating myself again. I love how Ash, like, like, you literally, no hesitation, no second thoughts, him and Pikachu literally went to go recover Iris. I love that part of the episode, that's why. My favorite part of the episode. Again, even then, like, Iris and Cynthia did not hold back or anything. They went all out. They held, held, held nothing back. Went all out. Didn't care who won or lose. It was perfect. Like, the Clash of the Titans. A worth the waited year, like, maybe like 10 years, 15, 5 years fight later. And, man, it was worth it. Like, it was, this episode was really good. You could feel Iris trying to win. You feel Cynthia trying to win. So they got some new stuff. Iris again got beat, but you know, in her heart she's going to be even stronger. Again, they get those there, like no matter what, though, till the whole tournament's over. So yeah, that, that like she's going to go back to the universe right now and drain. But you know, Lance left already. He's like, yeah, I'm not beating Diantha. Beat me, I don't care. Yeah, I heard Diantha would be a cool match. Maybe we're seeing the fight too, though. So I'm gonna be Iris and Cynthia. That's how I. This I'm a fight. I'm, over, I'm ready to see right there, though. So yeah, we all know that. So it's probably like Leon versus Diantha, pretty much though. But, yeah. See you guys though. Thank you for watching. Come break it. Get them, make sure they have water and stuff with all of you. So, we're not putting on that. So, we're going to do a new YouTube connection with Ken. Go outside, subscribe to the cooking. Shut them up in the Discord. Everywhere. He got an awesome Bampy. Everybody, draw. Swarf. Stop. Everybody. Go. Everybody. Bye. So what you think about all these awesome things, of course, like, you hate it again. Very simple, very easy stuff like that too, though. Um, any video here for sure, though. <laughs> again, I can get you about this episode all day. I loved it all. It was all good. Probably better than the day until this episode. That one was kind of, kind of, eh. It wasn't doing for me. We had some really good moments. This episode was really good. Really good. Getting back up on track. Ever Steven, a long way to fight. Pikachu's going to be in that. His shiny, me shiny Mega Metagross. Shiny Mega Metagross. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, it's Aaron, I think. It's like Aaron, A. Aaron. But yeah. See you guys later, though, again, though. Peace out.